What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Deluxe player pack review. So today we're doing the Italian one. This is the March League Italian selection. We've already done the English one. It should be up. So if you want to check that out, check it out either now, pause this video and go to it. Or else I did cover a lot of stuff in this video. A lot of kind of research went into it and comparing the players and talking about some advice and stuff like that, especially for newcomers. But if you are looking for these reviews and just to kind of talk through this Italian pack, this is the video for that. Right, so firstly, I'm not going to go into as much depth as I did in the previous English one, because looking at this even here, right, even if you are a newcomer, I would say that there are probably only four players on this that I think are worth training up if you do pack them. Now, obviously, you can clear this agent. You can get 11 of these players. There's no limit on the amount of players you can sign. So if you want these players, you can just get the 11 of them, and then you don't have to use whichever ones you don't want. That's if you want to spend. But if you want to stay free to play, you can obviously use the standard versions. We're going to have a few comparisons in there as well. But I'm not going to cover every player. So just to get a few out of the way already, we are going to look at this guy, Shures. He is playing for Torino. Now, look, just kind of an average center back, lads. There's, you know, I mean, too slow. Obviously, you can get his defensive prowess up or defensive um, awareness up and tackling up fairly high. But then you are going to be missing out on speed acceleration. Not that that really matters at the moment with the catch up and all that. But I do think that the biggest problem with this card is that these guys are just a dime a dozen, man. 20 levels to go. I just don't think he's worked getting in there. Now, he does have blocker. He doesn't have interception. He does have fighting spirit, but he doesn't have unwavering form, right? So I don't think he's worth really training up. We also have a very standard goalkeeper. Yes, his, reflex, his reflexes can go fairly high. He is a fairly tall keeper. He does have unwavering form. He is on a B rating at the moment, but there's just so many good keepers out there. I mean, genuinely, if you are starting the game out and you have... Like, you need to get a goalie for a standard goalie that is going to have 90 plus reflexes and high 80s for every other uh, stat. There's no point, really, kind of. It's the one position that will um, kind of save you more often than not compared to like training up a striker or a center, center half. A goalkeeper, I guarantee you, a good goalkeeper like Donnarumma will save shots that other keepers won't save, including this guy. So, that is kind of the two guys that I would like straight away kind of. Um, kind of like discount and I would also probably say this guy as well even though he's got unwavering form he does have first time shot but he doesn't have one touch pass he is a whole player so we will have a quick look at him in a second but we won't spend too much time on him right so we're going to start off with Zalowski this guy is playing for Roma he is a box to box left midfielder um he can play CMF as well which is an interesting position to play or AMF which is an interesting position to have him as a box to box so obviously box to box players can be CMF DMF LMF um it doesn't really matter what position that they play or RMF um but I would say that this guy is kind of better on the ball like he doesn't have unwavering form but when we do train him up and we compare him to a standard version, this is a really good version of this card. And I'll tell you why, right? The first thing that I will notice is that he's only 17,000 on his standard. This is his standard card. It's got 46 levels. But the big thing with this card, I think that sets it apart, is the acceleration and the dribbling. The passing, I'm not too concerned about because as a box-to-box, -box, you are going to be just trying to get the ball back a lot of the time. You do have double touch. You do have a couple of nice player skills. But again, it's an average kind of like left-sided player player um and the standard card if you are looking to get you know get him and stay free to play his standard card is pretty identical to it i mean obviously you've just got a couple of different stats and a couple of different upgrades here but it's not really you know worth spinning for i don't think we've also got this guy for as i said 90 ball control but that's kind of it he's a very average kind of center midfielder you should have a better whole player in your squad like uh, Pedri or somebody like that if you have been lucky enough to spin him but there are a lot of good players especially those you know attacking midfielder kind of slash CMFs that we have covered a lot on the channel we also have Milenkovic so this guy is a big giant of a center back he's got defensive stats all in the 90s he's got good speed good acceleration he's got unwavering form obviously he's got the pl team play style as all these cards have which is a huge advantage if you are you know still deciding as a newcomer or if you're trying to change your team play style and go from quick counter to possession or out wide or possession or out wide to long ball or whatever um this guy is very 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 meta at the moment any of these players that are tall that you don't need to spend uh too much time you know training up in terms of their speed or anything 
good base of stamina, speed, acceleration. The only thing that lets him down is tight possession, so you will be hoofing it more often than not with Milinkovic, but he does have blocker and interception. He also has fighting spirit and slight and tackle. And I think the only thing that you're really missing with him, as I said, is that tight possession, right? So, I mean, when we go back here and we take a look at the rest of the players down here, I think the next player that we're going to focus on is going to be Sakagni. Uh, Sakagni, Sakagni, if that's how you pronounce him. My Italian followers let me know how I'm butchering his name. But he's got a wavering form. He's a left winger. Now, he does go fairly high with the, with the, um, with the stats. But like, as I keep saying, man, you know, in the last review, we did St. Maximin. There is a big difference between using this guy and using somebody like St. Maximin. This guy is more of a kind of, um, you know, all round left winger rather than an outright kind of like speed demon. And to be honest with you, lads, if I'm using a left winger, I want him to be a speed demon for the play style that I use. You might enjoy using him, but for me, I think it is a bit of a miss as well. He does have fighting spirit and double touch, which are two nice, unique skill sets to have on this card. He does have track back and fighting spirit as well, which is interesting. But I do think that the that the card is just kind of neither here nor there. Um, his standard version kind of tracks up fairly well as well with 32 levels. We also have Dumfries. So Dumfries plays for Inter Milan. He's a very interesting player. He goes up to 85 aggression. He goes to 90 speed, 90 stamina, 84 acceleration. And what I like about Dumfries, and it's the same with Hernandez, who you'll see for AC Milan at the end of this video, who's probably the best player in these packs. Um, he's got 73 offensive awareness and 73 DR defensive awareness. So he's a completely balanced player, which is rare enough to have for uh, right or left backs. And it can be hard sometimes to achieve that. And also the second thing to check then as well is the tight possession and the dribbling is all kind of in around the same as well as the, the aggression. So all of his stats are between 74 and 85 compared to uh, most players, which is really good. I also like the fact that this guy as a right back, it does have blocker, which you see here is a very important skill. Um, and that's going to come in handy, especially, you know, if he's lacking that little bit of pace, it's an interesting stat to have. He is on D form this week. So just keep that in mind as well. We also have Zapata who is banging him in for Atalanta. He's a very, very good player. Um, we have him up here and he goes to, uh, a 93 overall center forward, pretty, pretty decent player. I mean, you're going to know what you get with him. If you don't have Yang Collar or you don't have a tall center forward that you use a lot in the air, this guy is not going to be worth it for you. Although he does have super sub, which is quite, quite decent. He does have one touch pass, first time shot and acrobatic finishing. And they have buffed all of these with the V2.4 patch. So if you haven't played the game in a while and it's like, oh, I can't play target men, the game does suit you now. You mightn't score a lot of the time with these guys. They have kind of nerfed scoring, but you will get a lot of knock-ons. You get a lot of rebounds. You'll get win a lot of aerial battles where target men now have a big advantage from loopy long balls into the box. And it just causes a bit of confusion between the AI and the, you know, your opponent. So yeah, 95 physical contact. You're going to be able to bully people. We've also got Zelinski. Now I want to compare Zelinski's standard card, which is the same level. So this is a 28 out of 28 training guide uh, or progression points. You get 28 levels to go. You get 28 levels here, right? And this card, you can see it's pretty much identical. Um, and I've done a lot of reviews on Zelinski's cards. It is a pretty much identical uh, card, but I think this guy is one of the best AMFs in the game and that's how I've trained him. So if you want to see the guide, here it is as a whole player. This is what I'm talking about. When you're comparing somebody like this or you're comparing somebody like this as whole players, this is the difference between, you know, those and them. They're, they're the difference between being like a good player and a great player of having players like this that are just so well-rounded that can do everything on the ball. You know, Modric, Pedri, Zelinski, he's no different. Um, moving on towards the end of him, we have got his standard card there. You can have a look through that. I do think that he's a fairly good card. There are better than him there, but he has got excellent player skills on the ball, dribbling, passing, and excellent stats all in the mid to high 80s. So yeah, he's a good player. Demaria, one of my favorite players, one of, still a, one of the most underrated players in the game. Excellent on the ball, one touch pass, so you don't need to spend a lot of time on the ball with him. He's just so rapid at getting the ball out of his feet. And with the way sometimes that the game can be a little bit unresponsive, having one touch pass is huge. And also adding to that with the animation sets that you get with true passing and weighted pass, if you use a lot of stunning passes, once you hit those off, you will be able to like just do animations with, with him that you can't with any other player or, well, players that have similar this. But Demaria is actually just a little bit of trivia. Demaria is one of the best players in the game in terms of his player skills, his animations, his motion, and his player ID. And that's why sometimes he can do things that other people can't. 
I've also boosted up his curl to get those shots. I'm not worried about his finishing. We have put six into shooting, but that's only to get the curl up to 90. Um, so we want to have 90 lofted pass, 90 curl. We also have outside curl or pinpoint crossing. And then, of course, we'll have early cross as well as one touch pass. So you will be able to hit some beautiful crosses in with Demaria. Last but not least, we have Tio Hernandez, right? So we're going to end it up with him. Hernandez here is probably the pick of the bunch. He goes to 96 overall, but the version we have trained goes to a 94. And I'll show you why I think this is the best version of him, right? There was a previous version of Hernandez released way back when that was an absolute monster, right? He had like, I think it was with eFootball 2022, um, before they updated the database, he was a monster that could play CB, um, and there was him and his brother, obviously, for uh, Bayern Munich. The two of them were unbelievable, right? They have balanced him a little bit, but I still think that this guy is an absolute beast. Uh, one of the best players in the game. And he's identical, right? Look, this is his card here. 94, we've been trained up, right? And this is his French version of the card. They're identical cards that were released um, and extremely similar to the AC Milan pack, right? The only difference between this card that we're seeing here from the Italian League selection that we're reviewing and the previously released AC Milan club pack is the fact that this guy has got plus three in offensive awareness and minus three in dribbling, but he's got player level 30. This guy's got player level 30. So we've got an identical card that we can train up and we've trained him up to be 90 speed, 90 acceleration, 78 defensive awareness, 78 offensive awareness, 88 dribbling, 78 tackling and aggression his standard card doesn't really track up as high as this because we have to kind of make a couple of changes because of the possession game play style or if we want to choose a different play style like long ball counter to get that up to 96 we are only going to get a 91 overall player with 33 levels so yeah this is definitely the best version of hernandez available right now but it's not been the best version of him that they have released before so that is it for me, lads. I'll be back with another one. That is the second Dulux pack done. As I said, you know, let me know if you guys are going to spin or skip these. Let me know your thoughts on it. Up next, we will have the Spanish one. We've already done the English one. Hope you're enjoying the videos. Hope I'm talking you through all of these. Any questions, get in touch with the comments below. And I'll talk to you in a bit. Peace.